Good morning, class. Here we are going along, getting our door built. First thing we do is open up Autodesk Inventor. And you guessed it, standard part. <laughs> so today the tools that we will be using, we'll be using the, uh, the sketch tool. We're using the dimension tool, the extrusion tool. And we're going to use that extrusion tool to not only go into the object, but out. So first thing we're going to do is make the door. Start with the sketch. Now I'm going to draw it from the front. So X, Y plane, click it. And now the door is a rectangle. Click once, move my mouse. And let's see, the width of the door is 36 inches. And I press tab, which is on the keyboard. And now you'll see that the other dimension is highlighted. So I'm going to turn that into 80 inches. These are standard door sizes. Three feet by, uh, what is that? Three feet by something, whatever, 80 inches. Uh, now that I got that, I finished my sketch. Always finish your sketch. Also, if at any time you make a mistake, you can always press escape or undo. Escape is on your keyboard at the top left, undo is up here. I have my door, so I'm going to extrude it. And if I look at my sheet, it says 1.75 inches. That's on the image at the right. I'm going to extrude it out. Okay, cool. We have a door. Now we are going to put the doorknob hole. That's not the technical term, but that's it works for me. Since we're going to change the dimension anyway, we can just click circle, click anywhere, and we can make this hole. If we look at the chart, it says 2.125 inches, 2.125. Now, if you take out your calculator, you'll see that 1 divided by 8 is 0.125. So this hole is 2 and 1 eighth inches. Uh, that's not right, so I'm going to go ahead and do undo. Okay, line. There, there we go. So, 2.125. Beautiful. Now that we have the hole sized up correctly, we're going to finish it. No, we're not. This is actually a good point. I could show you how to adjust problems that you make. I'm going to look over on my browser. If you don't have it, you can type browser up here. It'll pop up. So you go to your browser. You're going to right click. And you're going to edit your sketch. That's going to send us back to what we were doing. Now I can dimension again. So let's do that. There we go. Click dimension. I click the edge. I click the center. And I move the mouse. And here I can see the dimension. Now the dimension here is 34 inches. Type it in. Boop. Beautiful. Now I'm going to do from the side. Uh, click the edge. Click the center while the dimension tool is set. Move the mouse. Click. And it says, let's see, 2.75. Beautiful. Now that I got that done, we can finish our sketch. Now, I'm not going to be able to fit the doorknob unless there's a hole, so I extrude it. Click the Extrude tool. It's in the 3D Model tab. Click in the center. Once it goes out, you're halfway there. We want it to go in. We want it to be a hole. So we, uh, we change the direction. The door is 1.75 inches thick, but then I can also rotate by clicking this, the wheel on the mouse and holding Shift. So... Looks good to me. Check. Woohoo! All right. Now there's really like three more things that we have to make. The first being the hole that comes in the side that actually locks the door. So what I'm going to do? Click home because I just like that look. I'm going to start another sketch. I'm going to sketch on the edge of the door. Boom. Now, since I have my dimensions, this is nice and easy. Click circle. To make it on the side and if you look it says that these the hole is one inch in diameter boom I don't finish sketch yet I change the dimension 
go from this edge to the center and zoom out just so I can see. I can click. If I look at my sheet, look at that, 0.875. looks pretty good but it's not lined up vertically if you can see that this one's a little higher so I'm going to do another dimension I'll zoom in I'm going to zoom out zoom in click the center of the hole move it over and it asks me the dimensions guess what same thing 34 inches boom beautiful And it's being a little funny, so here we go. Finish the sketch. Now let's, let's zoom in on the right. We need to extrude this. It's not going out. It's going in. Boop. And not 1.75 inches. If you look, 1.75 inches is not enough to clear this whole thing. We need to do 2 inches. So I change the dimensions. And it's fine if it goes over a little bit. Now we have a door. Awesome. Two more things to make. We're going to start our sketches. We're going to be doing those panels. So we're going to sketch a rectangle. And if we look, it is 12 inches wide and it is 22 inches tall. Okay. We're going to do two of those. So it's 12 inches wide, 22 inches tall. Excellent. Now this wall is going to be three, in three inches. Okay. These are going to be six inches. And I do that by clicking here, clicking here, clicking in the middle. And then this should automatically go to three inches. So we don't even need it. This is going to be six inches and so we are done with that first square so what I do I've got the rectangles I need to do the patterns on the door I finish the sketch now here's a neat trick if you want to extrude more than one thing you click extrude hold shift which is the button under caps lock above control or under the enter click once click twice and now it's extruding both things shift is one of those hot keys on a computer that can that lets you select a bunch of things now this I want it to go in 0.5 centimeters it's going out right now so let's click in looks good okay almost there we're going to start another 2D sketch, and we can just pick in this hole. We're making a rectangle again. And this time, it is going to be 8 inches and, let's see, what does it say? 18 inches. Looks good. I can do that, line it up. So, 8 inches wide, 18 inches tall. Now I'm going to dimension, this should be, now this gave me trouble earlier when I was first making this, but you press escape, click again, try from the outside, no, press escape, try again, click twice, and do this until something works here, let's see, dimension, you know what it might be? Let's see, if I turn it a little bit, I can see this inside edge. If I click dimension here to here, yeah, it works. So try to do that. Now it's two inches, so I just press two. All right, now the side should be good. And here, the if I look, it's the inside wall. Click, two inches, bada boom, bada bing, beautiful. Now, same thing here. Click the bottom, click the inside. Huh. Crickets. Why is that not? 
dimension. Hit that. Hit that. There we go. Two inches. That warning just said I'm going to over constrain it. That means that it's lined up with the other one. And we don't want to, and we, we don't have to tell it again because the program just thought on its own. Oh yeah, these are these are lining lining up pretty well. So the guy or girl wants to do that. All right, so I try that again, clicking, try it, try it until it's right, pressing escape if it isn't, until I get this two inches. Now that I have that done, finish sketch, extrude, hold shift, click once, click twice, half an inch is correct. It's going outward. So I click OK. That's the door. You've done it. Beautiful. Great job. Uh, now all you need to do is a screenshot, send it in, and you are done. If you would like, and here's what I would like you to do. In the top portion of this window, uh, top portion of this door, make another shape. If you don't have extra time, that's fine. You've, you've, at this point, you have done everything everything I could want you to know how to do at this point if you are able to keep up with me. So, uh, yeah, ask me if you have questions. Bye-bye.